Hi, I'm Grace, and this is my first YouTube video in quite some time. So, perhaps you're thinking, where have you been, Grace? Why did you leave us? And um, this is why. In case you're wondering what this big stack of papers is, it is my drafts for the UCs, aka college. I've just been, like, super stressed. Um, I take five AP classes because I hate myself. Uh, I have to apply to a ton of different colleges. And then all the schools that I'm applying to for art require their own written supplements and like I need a portfolio, but like my portfolio changes for each school. For RISD, USC, and UCLA. If you're watching the submissions officers, please let me in. I would really appreciate it. I've had a lot to do recently and so I haven't had any time. I have no plans for now or my life or ever. Where am I going to go to college? What am I going to do with my life? I don't know. So this is a really old piece that wasn't that good. So to start off, I tried to even out the skin tone with watercolor, ignoring completely that the paper is illustration paper, not watercolor paper. So it just got really splotchy and rough. Um, so then I moved on and I started doing the hair in with um, Copics. This piece is like a mix, multimedia piece. It's uh, I got Copics, watercolor, and acrylics. But the acrylics are really bad. Um, also, my dimensions were really bad when I first did this, um, so I tried to go in and fix everything. I'm basically like redoing this old piece. It doesn't really resemble the original by the time I'm done with it, um, but that's just because there's so many messed up things. Like I did this, I think, sophomore year. I started and then I was like, oh my god, this is awful. Uh, I can't fix it. So I just, you know, left. Gave up on it, as one does. Um, and then I came back to it this year. So I'm trying to redraw everything. Like I'm trying because the nose was way out of line. It was not in the center. The face was very oddly proportioned. So I basically try to redo everything um, which I need acrylics for. Whenever I'm fixing my mistakes, I always end up using acrylics because, you know, they're opaque. So they'll go over everything in theory. In reality, the acrylics that I have, um, I got through my school and they're not very good. They're kind of bizarre. I think that one of my classmates found them on Amazon and they have like a one star rating because like they give you the weirdest colors. It's like yellow, orange, pink, and then like neon green. Super confusing. Anyways, you can see more clearly here. The nose is like way off center and needs fixing. I do fix it. Don't worry. Um, so anyways, and they're not opaque at all, which I've talked about in my art supplies video, like they're very thin, really hard to get like a solid color from, you need to layer them a ton, um, not a fan. So, but all my art supplies are at school, um, all my brushes are at school, even my sketchbook is at school, this is my usual <laughs> sketchbook that I'm using. So yeah, uh, life kind of sucked for me <laughs> when I was filming this video. Um, supply wise but I tried to make it work because isn't that like the point of art no that's not the point of art I don't know why I said that um, anyway so I'm just layering and layering and layering these acrylics so you can see they're not really covering anything up fully which is why I need to keep on going over the skin trying to even it out the nose I tried to add my little highlight to but then I realized that it's like very off-center um, I oh I went in with the hair with like uh, uneven watercolor wash. I thought that that would look really cool combined with the definitive lining style that I had going on and indeed it did but also I needed to fix it and fix everything this piece basically. The eyes are also really far apart. Oh I gave her dark circles because uh, all my people have dark circles. I don't know why maybe because I have dark circles myself um, because stress in high school. Oh, and then I went in and okay, so like Urban Outfitters has been sending me these ads. It's because I'm on their mailing list. And it's like really cute. Like they have these Henley shirts and they pull one half off the shoulder so you can see like the bralette or whatever. Not that you could like ever wear that in real life because then your bra would just be out. But like it can live in the art. So that I, that's basically why I did it. I also accidentally added that stripe of what looks to be skin color um, and got really mad at myself for like five seconds. And then I try to work with it and make it like the ribbing of the Henley shirt. Um, what else am I doing? Oh yeah, okay, so I moved the eyes. Basically, I ended up moving the eyes really close together and redoing the nose for the third time. The third time. Because it was just so bad and it was also really not working with like the stripe of red that I had going. So I tried to fade it back up into the skin. 
um, and sort of meld everything together. I also gave her like a fun bralette type deal and started going over some of the pieces of the hair with like a light pink color. Again, this works out with the acrylic because it's not really opaque. So it works with the watercolor better than just slapping like a flat color on wood. Um, and then I took my Copics and I started doing all the little details. Oh, so I used only Copics for the shirt. Oh no, wait, just kidding, <laughs> lol. There I am with a watercolor brush, um, adding some more flat color. But I used Copics for all the little details, not watercolor, because um, this paper just does not like watercolor at all. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I went in with some white and started adding all the highlights. And you can kind of see I'm like lobbing. Well, I guess you can't see. If I zoomed you in, you would see I am like lobbing it on because it's so thin. And yeah, that's the finished piece. So it was kind of like a mess. I made a lot of mistakes. If you like go back through, you can see that I didn't like how it looked a bunch of the time. So I just kept on working with it. But sometimes that's what happens with your pieces. And if you keep on working them, you will finish with something workable. And now I'm just going to show you my dog because my dog is adorable and I love him. And please forgive me for not uploading for so long. My dog is an apology dog. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, um, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button or whatever, I don't know, is that what YouTubers say? I don't know, it's been so long. Okay, thanks for watching, bye!